Hey, it's Dr. Jenny Cristerno, lead psychological surgeon right here at International High Achievers. And so I wanted to just share a conversation that I had with a young man who's dating. Um, a really, you know, nice, it sounds like a nice young lady, and I've never met her. And so he had just some questions. He had questions. And he was like, she's getting on my nerves. And they've been dating for a couple years. And um, he's like, well, you know, I'm kind of young. I want to go and do my thing. And I said, okay, well, you know, you're, you're in your 20s. That's what you're supposed to do. And so he said, um, basically, she is annoying now um, because she doesn't do X, Y, or Z. Now, all of a sudden, it's a problem. And so he said, well, what does that mean? And I said, well, it means that um, your frustration or your annoyance with her has taken you out of this loving space, this high energy kind of space. You see, when we are in this high energy space and someone makes us feel very good about ourselves and um, we feel very good about them, then the 80-20 rule, right, which most of you probably know about, but if not, I'm going to tell you, the 80-20 rule shifts from the 80 to the 20. So what is the 80-20 rule? The 80-20 rule is where 80% of your needs um, and, and wants are being met and 20% are not. And so usually the 80% is filled with most of the things you need. And then, you know, some of the things you want. Where the 20% is usually the things you want, maybe one or two kind of like, um, you know, smaller things that you might need, but you could survive without, all right? And so as we were talking and he was just saying and describing all of the little things that she wasn't doing, um, and I've known him for some time, he didn't focus in on all of the big things that she was continuing to do. And she was very consistent. And so is he. And so I said, well, dear, it sounds like you're not um, in the high energy that you were when you were dating her in the beginning. You know, we give it four to six months when you're really into somebody. And so uh, four months, I, I say four months, but four to six months. But um, I told him, I said, well, it sounds just like you know you are kind of in the the regular oh i'm with this person phase and now you're seeing her for who she is and she's seeing you for who you are and you guys are kind of regulating each other and so now you're looking for some excitement well you know i tell people when you're bored and and you know you're, you're the the excitement has gone out of the relationship you know that's that's kind of normal you know, you guys do things together and then you got to find the excitement. You got to create the excitement, but you don't start picking at what this person isn't doing in the 20% because you'll leave that person who's giving you 80% for somebody who's only giving you 20% only to get a high because now I'm getting this thing that I need and that I want. And then you realize, oh, that's only 20% of what I needed and what I wanted. And that wasn't even like big things. It was just like, I would like to have these things. And you've now kind of walked away from this 80% and you're struggling and you're surviving and all the things. And so what I will say to folks is if you're getting bored with your relationship, try to do some things that are exciting. Um, try to co-create a new world for yourself because if you leave... 80% chasing 20, I promise you, you're going to look back with a lot of regret um, and wish you had done it differently. So I hope that was helpful for my young peeps. And of course, when you're young, you know, you want to do your thing and you should. Um, but just be mindful that it's a balancing game, you know. Um, go ahead and date, be happy, be free, but also don't be foolish. But when you're in your 20s, maybe early 30s, sometimes we're still a little foolish. So with that, I hope it was helpful. Bye.